guys, Super here, and welcome to another episode of Carol. Ugh. I always mess up on the first freaking try. Motherfuck! Hey, what is up, guys? Super here, and today we're gonna play more of Kill or Love. This is part five, and this one doesn't have a chapter. This one didn't say a chapter, it said something else. I can't remember. Anyways, in the last episode, we find out. More about Anna Anna. She kind of tells us a little bit more. And it turns out that uh, she lives right next door to the protagonist. And we, um, we are dating Grace. So yeah, things kind of escalated. They uh, made up. Uh, apparently Grace and Anna Anna met. And Anna Anna was acting weird when she left the room. Because Grace left the cookies or something. Uh, I mean, dropped the cookies. And... Well, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Anyways, let's get right into it. I always gotta do this, man. Every single time. Dear Diary. I found him. Wait, what? It was beautiful. It was like fate. It was fate. Oh, wait. This is a diary. The, the protagonist likes to write the date. This must be either maybe Anna Honor or Grace. As soon as I came to the city, I caught his scent in the air a little, but mostly I smelled homeless people and gasoline. Why did you go all the, all the way out here, Jack? No, I, said, I read that wrong. Why did you go all the way out here, Jack? You love nature, the smell of pines where you grew up. I was ready to spend weeks looking for you, Jack, or months, years if I had to. I even got a job at the hospital here. They're unstaffed, so it was easy. Oh, we are Anna Anna. But there you were, in the first store I went to. I didn't even go in to look for you. Fate, fate, fate. But you were a little strange. Surely you recognize me. I haven't changed that much, have I? I mean, it's been a while, and I haven't tried to make myself pretty for you in any, every other way. In every way I can think of, but you knew it was me, right? I knew it was you. You haven't forgotten me. Were you pretending, playing a game? Yes, that must be it. Well, I'd love to wait and see what you're doing, dear. But I've been a patient girl for too far long. Oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. I have uh, technical difficulties. All right, we are back. <sighs> well, I'd love to wait and see what you're doing, dear. But I've been a patient girl for far too long. Dear Diary, Friday, Jack Friday. I knew he changed his name to that, but it's just so funny, isn't it? Well, I have to change it back, Jack, for when we're married. I want the real one to follow my first name. Jack Friday. <laughs> it made me giggle when I saw it in your employee records, darling. I just had a peek, nothing more. Just to see where you live. Oh. Oh. So she she did stalk the protag. I wanted to follow you home at first, but then I thought... Then I... Though... Oh, there's a typo. What? But then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be insanely romantic if the next time I saw you, we lived right next to each other? I know you're playing your little game of you don't know me anymore, but that's not too much, is it? Being neighbors? You won't be angry, right? Even if it makes you angry, I have to at least do this, right? I can't wait anymore. I'm tired of being on myself. I waited this long already. I prepared for you so much. Maybe you won't be mad. Please don't be mad. Please. P.S. One other thing, darling. That street you, where you live, isn't it in a terrible part of the town run down and cheap and even dangerous i haven't been here for long but i think that's right is that part of your game too and working in a store that must be it as well some like someone like you shouldn't be work never work there instead you should be a gosh i can't even imagine what and isn't that perfect i don't want you working anywhere i want you all for me Oh, jeez. Dear Diary, the street is worse than I thought. God, the smell. Do you really know what you're doing, Jack? 
No, no, no. I shouldn't doubt you. I know. The rent is cheap, at least. Very cheap. But more important than that, or anything else, there is was a vacancy right next to your part. Right? No, oh my gosh. I can't wait to move in. We'll be neighbors. I'll see you so much of it. So much of you, it will make me drunk. What? What kind of metaphor is that? Dear diary, what a beautiful dump. I said this to the landlord when I brought my things here. He thought I was complaining. He said I should have checked out the apartment before I rented it. He's an idiot. There can be a swarm of rats and roaches living in the apartment. Or crack a dick. Crack a dicks. Which is funny because in the last episode, the protag did talk about how there was a guy with crack addictions next door. For that matter, and I won't give a darn. But still, I can't keep it dirty forever. I have to practice my homemaking skills. Time to make this dump a home. Yo! Dear Diary, just back from a quick jog, gotta say, <laughs> gotta stay in shape, and the brownies are just about dead. I know, I know, I should have kept an eye on them, but I've been doing this for so long, for long, you know? The brownies are perfect. Not burr, not burnt, not raw, just right. I hope he likes them. Jack, I don't know if I can go on. Who is this girl? I'm the one for you. The only one for you. And yet you... I know this is a part of your plan, but you didn't have to do it this way. Why are you being so cruel? I have work now. I don't care. I'll go sleep. <laughs> Dear Diary, I cried all the bad feelings out. Things don't seem nearly as bad now. Jack is testing me, so I have to show him I have what it takes. Ah, this is nothing, she said. Dear Diary, I met her today. Grace. I hope she doesn't get in the way. She's a sweet girl. But she's clumsy. She dropped a plate, my plate too, of cookies that were cookies. That, and there were cookies and broken pieces of porcelain everywhere. Pretty clumsy too, I guess. I cut myself on a shard when I tried to get up. Jack came in just as I got, just as I got cut. He must have sensed I was hurt. There was a lot of blood for a wound so small. The blood reminded me of the time it always does. I shut to Jack. It looked like he was going to vomit. Great acting, Jack. I love you. What? She thinks it's, that it's just all a plan of his, but he's... Huh? Dear Diary. I've gotten better at playing along with Jack's little game. I see him a lot more now, everywhere I go. Nearly half of those times I'm not even trying to make our paths cross. Fate. I'm also seeing Grace a lot, lot more. She's always asking me to go somewhere with her or chat. And she's always coming over to my apartment without Jack. She becomes a real bother, honestly. But I act nice. That girl tells me things about Jack, after all. Though, of course, she doesn't know anything about him that I don't. That's because she doesn't really know Jack. But now, I know what he's pretending to be like. He told Grace that he has amnesia. It's a little unoriginal, Jack, don't you think? That's okay, though. She believes you. That dumb little... Dang. She really does not... I was right. She doesn't like her. Dear Diary, I'm troubled. I'm starting to think that Jack is not pretending. What if he really has forgotten all about me? No, I can't have that. I need a sign, Jack. Just one little sign. So that I know you remember. One sign, anything is fine. So the reason why she's not giving up is because of that. Huh. Jack doesn't remember me. I'm pretty sure of it now. He doesn't remember anything. Darn. That's a good thing. He hasn't been acting cold on a purpose. Why? Gosh. I'll give his memory a little jog. And that'll be that. Good as new. But 
This also means that he's serious about that girl, Grace girl. <laughs> we can't have that. No, no. I'm starting to see her true colors. She's a filthy seductress. All right. She's also an idiot. She invited me for dinner tomorrow at her apartment. Their apartment. Her and Jack's apartment. Their apartment they're sharing together without me. Well, duh. August 16th. So now we're back. Terrible day. Really awkward. And Anna was hovering around me all day. As far as she was here for Mork. Mork. What? What? Another spelling error? Are you serious? Then two shifts. How does... How the bell does... What? How the bell does that work? Oh, yeah. Okay. I couldn't write at all. She's only go... Wait. Are they... This is on purpose. Oh. What? Why? Well, I guess I should mark this as the... 17th and not the 16th. Oh, who cares? Now I have to write in the dark, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't see it being a problem. So long, long after. Did I write about how much Anna, Anna came to see me at the store that one time? Yeah, I did. What? Okay, you can. You definitely would not write a J for I. Like. Oh, come on, like, you would have to be typing this, and even then, you'd be able to see the keys and notice that you got it wrong. Not long after that, Grace invited Anna Anna over for dinner. She could have told me before asking Anna Anna. No, not that I would have said no. I didn't have an excuse to say no. But, I mean, she only told me about the dinner a few hours before it. Ugh. Yes, I was preparing really for a really relaxed evening, and all of a sudden, Grace says we should start making dinner. And, oh no, I forgot to tell you, Jack. I shouldn't be so bitter and childish. People forget it. It happens. She didn't mean anything bad by it. It still rubbed me the wrong way, though. And Anna was going to invade my home. Oh, why can't I stop yawning, dude? And be there for hours. I'm pretty sure I had every night to be angry about that. No, I'm sure I should have sent her packing the first time I saw her. Then, when she moved into next to us, and a million times after that, it should have. My fault is. The fault is mine. Oh. The food tastes amazing, Jack. Thanks. I barely made anything. Chapter 4, Goodbye. Huh. Thanks, I barely made anything. That's not true, is it? You were in the charge of the rice. Yeah, the rice. And it ended up mushy. I think it's delicious. And on it ate it like it was the tastiest thing in the world. An idea popped in my mind. If I bore her, she might leave early. Thanks. But the chicken is much better. And it's incredible how you can you make anything decent in the oven we have, Grace. Oh, don't talk about the oven, Jack. It's embarrassing. I bet you'll, you've will you never seen a greasier oven, Anna Anna. I swear to... <laughs> I tried to clean it. But nothing works. I don't know what the previous owners did to it to make it that dirty. And that's none of the biggest problems, is it, you said? Y yes. The light in the oven barely works. And you don't get me started on the heating. It's so sketchy. Yeah, yeah, all of that. And you still manage to make something this good. What do you say, Anna Anna? It's tasty. It reminds me of home. Have you tried remembering what home was like, Jack? I swallowed and choked and coughed. <coughs> <coughs> What's with that all of a sudden? Anna Anna smiled and went on eating. I was just wondering. No. I have not tried to remember what home was like. I don't see why I have to. I'm fine without it. Alright. It's a shame, though. Tough. Um, Jack? Yeah? What is it, Grace? I'm with Anna Anna on this one. Y you are? Yes. Even after you said you were fine with me deciding what goes on in my head? I, I'm trying to think of what's best for you. 
That's right. You can't spend your life running away from the past. Face it now. Be a man. It's not healthy to lock so much of yourself away. It can't be. You have to agree, Jack. I didn't reply. Man, this is... <sighs> Mother! <laughs> and Anna, um, I didn't tell you this, but at night, at least once a week, Jack, that's enough! I banged my fist on the table, then it wasn't mean to be ashamed that I lost my temper, but I couldn't back down. This has got to do with me, and me only. Stay the hell out of it, both of you. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Why are you so... Ah. It's no good. I've never gotten this angry before. I needed to be alone. I walked off to another room, but that didn't help. I could still hear their murmurs and whispering. And they were talking about me. I dressed in a hurry. Huh? What, what are you... Are you going out, Jack? I nodded. Have fun. Wait, don't go! I'm... I'm sorry. I keep insisting so much. You know, I'm trying to help, right? Yeah. Then please don't be mad. I couldn't stop being angry. It was stronger than me. Um, can you just do one thing for me? Just so I know I did all I could? Do what? Can you say you're fine with... No, please say that you don't want to remember. Can you do that for me? Of course. I hesitated longer than I thought I would. So, suddenly it struck me. I was being childish as hell. But in the end, my anger and stubbornness won over. I don't want to remember. There. Are you happy now? I wanted things to stay as they were. That's all I ever wanted. Nothing For nothing to change. Because for once I was happy. I... Well... I'm sorry. You should be. I walked out. By the time I came back, Grace was gone. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Wait, if he came back. Uh oh. Uh oh. He came back hours later. After a little drinking and a lot of pointless wandering, their apartment was empty. Her things were gone, but I only realized that after I read the letter. The letter was on the table next to our half finished dinner. There was a key next to the letter, too. Her key to their apartment. What? I remember the letter for word for word, so why don't I write it down here? Wouldn't that be fun? Jack, it said. I can't stay with you anymore. You're only going to make yourself more miserable, and I can't help you. I can't watch you do this to yourself. I pray there's someone who can help you like I couldn't. I hope you'll be happy. Goodbye. Grace didn't need to sign the message. I would have recognized those neat letters anywhere. I've seen the same handwriting during our brief year together on dozens of, if not hundreds of little notes. Shift schedules, reminders to buy snacks or milk, things like that. They were, in fact, at least half a dozen of yellow post-its she used still around the apartment. Seeing them hurt. There were a lot of things Grace hadn't taken with her too. Socks, pants, a few undershirts, a scarf. One pair of shoes. A sweater she really liked, too. She would have worn the sweater while napping in the evening. It was all the evidence of how much of a hurry she had been to get away from me. Now I know better. No. What if Anna Anna did something? Morning, everyone! The patients all greet her. I do, too. Well, well. I'm happy to see you finally stop being Mr. Grumpy. Well, you know. Do you feel better? Does your does the leg still hurt? I'm a little better, I guess. At peace. That's great. You'll be on your feet in no time. I'm sure. Free to come back home? I laugh like hell. And Anna probably doesn't see what's so funny. She smiles vacantly. I guess she does love me in her own way. Doesn't matter, though. Remembering the pain she caused me has given me conviction. My heart is set on killing her. Wait, wait, was the goodbye Grace or was it something else? Eh, doesn't matter. August 18th. 
My health is vastly improving. Doctor's words, though. And I feel it. I don't wake up at night so much anymore, cough, choking in on pain. I don't get so angry anymore that I have to chew on my own fingers so I don't have to end up shouting. Ah! I really am at peace. Ah! I, don't, I know what to do. Ah! I know I have to do it. Ah! I feel like I don't have a choice in the matter. Ah! I'm a train going down a set of tracks at a few hundred miles per hour. No turns, no brakes. Whatever happens will happen. It's strangely calming. For now, I'll keep on riding. I know a good point to stop. <laughs> After Grace left, I spent that first night alone on the kitchen floor. It was where my legs happened to give under me. After hours of walking back and forth in the apartment, I had pace around like a cage animal looking for under pillows and carpets and poking my head in closets. I don't know why. Maybe I thought I'd find her there. <laughs> I woke up in the afternoon with a blanket over me. I thought that Grace had done it, that she'd come back. She had it. I guess it must have been Anna, Anna. I didn't go to work. I didn't eat. I don't remember drinking any water, but I must have. I must have slept a lot, too. It turned out I needed Grace more than I thought I did. Certainly more than she needed me. I was alone that day, that night, and the day after, too. Right up until the evening. That's when she made her move. Oh, and Anna! The windows are closed, and the blinds were drawn. It must have been stuffy and hot in the apartment. I lay on the couch, shivering. I held to my chest the sweater Grace had left. I was about to slip into uncomfortable sleep when the front door opened. My heart skipped a beat before the sight of a person coming in disappointed me. <laughs> the sight of coming in disappointed me. <laughs> Hello? Jack? I stared at her. What's wrong? Stare. <laughs> she tried to get me to talk, but I wasn't in a talking mood. I was not in a talking mood. Eventually, she found the letter still on the table, pretended to find it. Oh, Jack. Oh, darling. Go away. You're hurt. I know. She's terrible, isn't she? To have hurt you so badly. She's... The sweater was soft against my sin. Skin. <laughs> sin! <laughs> Skin. It smelled of her. I know. I know. She's awful. Let me help. She brought her hand near to my face. I turned my head away. I'm the one who can make you happy. You know. You won't have to remember that girl ever again. You won't want to. I promise. Her hand found my cheek. It had only been two days since I last seen Grace, had last touched her, but it was like I already forgotten a person's warmth. I raised my hand to bat hers away, and I found that I couldn't do it. Instead, I put my hand on hers. I was close to tears. There were so many emotions in me that confused and overwhelmed me. But Anna Anna was here, and she was whispering that she'd never leave. She must have done something to Grace, but it's like... Uh, she might have not maybe great because we don't know grace very much she just like she's kind of like the pro tag she doesn't think like the pro tag very much they have opposite ideas so maybe maybe she did leave or maybe anna on a killed her or something i don't know we made love there on the couch well i well that escalated way quicker i did not even look at my screen that whole time Afterwards, I used the sweater to pipe, to wipe the sweat off me. Anna, Anna lay next to me, soft and warm. Both her arms are wrapped around one of mine. In the morning, after the long, long night, and Anna looked at, looked to me and asked me a question. I'm tired, aren't you? Uh huh. I won't go to work today. I'll call in sick. What about you? I don't know. I won't go to work. I hadn't thought at all about work. It was so irrelevant. That's a good idea. Hey, I'm going to my apartment. I want to have a nice hot shower. Come with? Sure, yes. My apartment had a perfectly working shower, of course, but I didn't want to be by myself. I was scared. What? What's going on? Why is the protag so okay with this? I thought he hated her. Yo, what? After I'd had a shower at her place, Anna Anna told me 
I could stay there a while. Until you feel better, she told me. What do you say? I said yes. And that's how it went. I don't feel shame for what I did. I know I should, but I don't. The problem is, I don't really feel like I did any of that. It's more like I was watching myself do those things. Watching myself get tricked and cheated on. Cheat on Grace. And live with that woman who's caused so much misery to so many people. I know I should be ashamed. It's a disgusting thing I did and I can't take it back. I let myself be made into an animal. That one whole month is something I'd like to forget and to never remember. So I won't write about it. Or maybe anything more. About anything more. I've written enough. I'm done. The journal has helped me a lot, but I don't need it anymore. This is then. It's goodbye. So goodbye. JF. Jack Friday. <laughs> I woke up and found the room dark. Ooh, a brand, a new brand of happiness. All right, well, that's the end, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't, and also like. And it is crazy what is happening in this story so far. Literally. Grace disappears, that seemed unexpected, and then the pro tag seems to be, during that time, was okay with Anna Anna. And they made love, apparently, they said? That's crazy. So, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like, and uh, see you guys next time. See ya. Mwah.